it was it was so bad that I don't know if it was the third day or the fourth day. I mean, it was so bad that you could almost not drive out, and and people were frustrated. People were, were thoroughly frustrated, and they didn't know who to blame. And you're just the only person there that's law enforcement. So you know you had people yelling at you, um, begging you for stuff, showing you their children. You know, it was a desperate, desperate situation for those people. You know, I remember you'd leave at night because you couldn't do much at night anyway for safety, and and you can't accomplish much in that type of situation at night anyway. So you'd leave, you come back, and the same people that were there the day before are still sitting there. I can remember feeling bad one time because there was no water, and water was the big thing. If if we could have got water, it was a very obvious thing. If we could have got water in the interstates, it would have slowed down the suffering on that interstate tremendously in the first few days. And it was almost mind-blowing that water, the basic thing, couldn't get there. But, I mean, I can remember actually leaving and trying to get through that ca crowd because once you get a bunch of people on the, on the interstate, you almost feel obligated to do for them something at that part. But, but our mission is search and rescue. It wasn't really the after part, if you follow. But I can remember going back to my house at one point during the day just to get all my bathtub water and bring it back just to the, the group that was kind of associated where we were at, you know, and, and that brought them from total frustration to down to being reasonable. But yeah, it was, it was, it was a terrible, that was probably the most frustrating thing about the whole event.